Hey gents, a few months ago, I took a look at Batch for the first time. I looked at one of their dress shirts, which was in my dress shirt roundup. And then you might recognize this utility shirt, which is their casual collection from that video as well. And it's become the sleeper hit of my closet over the winter. It's really become my like go-to casual shirt. Uh, and it's replaced some of the ginghams and plaids that I used to constantly wear in my, in my wardrobe. I think that is starting to go away a little bit. You're seeing a, a move more toward prints, but then also you've just always got great solid colors to wear as well. Plaid is of course, I a, a timeless or mostly timeless type of material you can wear. There's always going to be a place for the buffalo check and there's always going to be a place for plaid. But if you want to sort of modernize or upgrade and just look a little bit more uh, clean, then you can look at something like these utility shirts. So today I have another one right here and we can dive in, take a look. So I've got this red one and, and Batch also does, you know, they do it's right in their name, they do small batch shirts, so I don't know that you can get this same red one here. But the red one that I have, or you could say it's like a dark burgundy or a wine, it actually has metal buttons on here. And it's one of their shirts from their collection that has a lot more intricate detail. I think I called that out in my video. There's extra stitching in the collar. There's two pockets, but it's you know quadruple stitched on the top of the thing. But it's all very subtle, and it doesn't really call attention to itself. If it was contrast stitched, it would be a much different story. But it's also got cool things, like it's got the buttons over on the side here, so you can roll your sleeves up and then hook them. And it has a nice, slim, modern taper to it. It. And so I really like this version here and today we're taking a look at one of the new ones from their current collection So I also like that they have this is like a, a wax thing here And this looks like it has a lot less detail to the collar and other parts of the shirt So we've still got the two pockets on the front. This is a military olive green, which I really like I chose this one out of the current collection and it just has uh, what I think I called this out from their dress shirt and their casual shirt is they have stitching on the elbow here to give the sleeve a taper, which helps with the fit. They have pretty good armhole size. So typically with shirts, when you want them to fit a little bit better, you want the higher armholes. It helps keep the shirt tucked in, but it also helps with some of your body movement and give you a more slim look. And then on this one, it looks like the buttons are a light gray and they might be metal. So I, on this one, they're metal and they're like a bronze or uh, some sort of lighter color. This one is a gray, but it has a different color to it based on the lighting. That's pretty interesting. And interesting in a good way, I'd say. And it should be the same kind of taper. Let's try it on and see how it fits. Nice, yes, this has a very good fit and feel just like the red one. Feels nice and new. This has a nice high quality smooth feel to it. I really like the fabrics that Batch uses within here. I like that the sleeves are a nice fitted style and so sometimes I get too much baggage just underneath this arm armpit here. And this being a medium, so I'm 6'4", 170, I always have, you know, I'm always kind of between sizes. The medium on here fits really well. They don't consider it a slim. I think they just have like modern cuts and I really like that. So this fits me really well in the neck. It fits me well in the arms, fits me well the, on the, the torso as well. So really good fit out of these and I love the material that they use for the shirts. Now, not everybody's going to be into the military green. I needed to essentially fill this slot in my wardrobe in this color, I needed something more olive but I really like they have like an Oxford blue on their site as well and so they have some really great color options that you can check out on their site. If you want to move quickly on some of this stuff because their colors do sell out they only make these in small run batches so they are unique they are limited run and they are greatly styled and high quality. Now I did interview one of the co-founders Jeff Argue on my podcast the buttoned up podcast with Brock McGough of The Modest Man and he is the one who pointed out the whole plaid thing for me and it was really like a revelation so if you want to hear that interview on how they started the company and where the company is going. That's a really cool interview and I would check that out over on iTunes or Google Play or wherever else you can get your podcast. I'll put all the links below. I'll link to my original unboxing up here. You can also check out their site. They have the white dress shirts, which I really liked, the very subtle kind of detailed stitching on those, which makes you stand out. And then the casual shirts as well. It's become my go-to and even for, you know, absolutely wear these to a casual work environment and look great in the office. That does it for Batch. As always, I'll keep my eye out for the best menswear on the internet. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Starry night, paint your palette blue and gray. Hang out.